eat dinner on it, build Lego sets on it, you know, all that kind of good stuff, man. I, I, I love tables. Most of us use a keyboard of some kind on a regular basis. It could be a physical one connected to a laptop or computer, or it could be a digital one on your phone's screen. Whatever the case, keyboards are one of the main tools for communication in this day and age. We're all so familiar with keyboards, most of us know what each key does. Whether its corresponding name and symbol on the key is or isn't that obvious. Like I know if I press the key of a T on it, a T will pop up on my screen. Or if I hit the 6, a 6 will come up. Even ones without obvious names, like how the enter key is used to go down a line. It's not called the go down line key, but I know it does that. Likewise, I know that the tab key moves the cursor a little bit to the right at intervals. Many of us use the tab key all of the time, and we kind of just accept that it's called the tab key without really thinking too much about it. Well, guess who has been thinking about it? That's right, this guy. What does the tab in the name of the tab key actually mean? Well, like most of the keys on a keyboard, this one predates smartphones and computers. Tab keys first appeared on keyboards when they were first being added to typewriters. I always find it amazing just how much of the modern keyboard still stems from something as archaic as a typewriter. Man, can you imagine using a typewriter? I used to think it would be really cool and trendy to have like a typewriter, but it just seems annoying. Just, just, just give me Google Docs or something. On typewriters and in modern word processors, the tab key moves the cursor along to the next tab stop. These are specific spaces on the page which can be adjusted with the ruler you see at the top of your page. The reason this came into being was because fairly often people using typewriters wanted to not write at the very edge of the page like they usually do. This could be because they wanted to start a new paragraph or because they were doing a list or something and wanted to start under the rest of the writing. I'm that there's many reasons why you wanted to go to a tab stop to go to the next interval. You, you, you can think about this for yourself. The first way of doing this was with pressing the spacebar multiple times, but that was a bit finicky and you wouldn't always end up with the same spacing each time. I'm, I'm sure you've done that before, like hit the spacebar to get something just right. And I mean, Microsoft Word is a menace most of the time when you put a picture in and just ruins all your text, but you know how finicky this stuff can be. But to make life easier, tab stops on typewriters were implemented and a new key was added to quickly get you to those tab stops, the tab key. This allowed people to get to the same indented part of their page over and over without having to faff around with hitting the correct amount of space bars each and every time. This all started on typewriters, but as mentioned, the idea made its way to the modern word processors on computers too. While that explains why we have the tab key in the first place, it doesn't really explain why it's called a tab key or why the spaces it moves the cursor to are called tab stops. But before we get into that, I want to say a huge thank to my most recent patrons. So a huge thank to new patron, Rick. Patron is the best way to financially support Name Explain, and donating just $1 a month gets you ad-free videos, a chance to say what names I've explained, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. Conversely, if you want to just make a one-time donation, you can leave a super thanks directly in the comments section of any of my videos here on YouTube. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. So now we know what the tab key does and why it is there, why was this action and key referred to as a tab? Well, while the word tab has many meanings today, from being part of a web browser to a small bit of cloth and even a nickname for cigarettes weirdly enough, the tab in the tab key is actually short for not one, but three words, tabula, tabulate, and tabulator. Of course, all these words mean similar things and relate to one another, and all their etymologies have their origins in the word of table. Table is a word of a huge amount of meaning in English. Its two most common meanings today, however, are probably what it's used as the name for a piece of furniture we sit around. I'm sure you know what, what a table is, right? Made of wood quite a bit of the time. Eat dinner on it, build Lego sets on it, you know, all that kind of good stuff, man. I, I, I love tables. But anyway, the other use of the word table is when we use it as the name for a collection of information, organised in a neat way in rows and columns and whatnot. We both call these things tables. Table as a word comes from the Latin tabula, meaning a plank, which makes sense, especially with that original meaning of the word table. Of these two meanings of the word table, the words tabula, tabulate, and tabulator relate more to the latter organized information kind of table when used in the tab key's name, which makes sense as the neat indents the tab key creates on a page are ideal for making tables of information. At least 
These words now relate to organized information anyway. The oldest of these three words is tabula, which comes from the mid 17th century. It's an adjective and it initially meant something that is table shaped. And of course, this would be used for actual tables, but other things like large slabs or stone or something. It was only in the early 18th century, however, it came to be used to mean something arranged in lists or columns, relating to the organized information kind of table. But with the adjective of tabula now meaning information that was organized in neat rows and columns, the word could be shifted into its other forms of tabulate and tabulator too. Tabulate is simply the verb form of tabula, meaning to organize something into a table as in, I'm going to tabulate this information. Um, we should use that word more often. And tabulator is the noun form of this word, meaning someone or something that organizes information into tidy little tables. A tabulator could be an actual person, it could be a device of some kind, or it could be a certain key on a keyboard, which helps us along with making tables. So it's easy to understand why these three words of tabula, tabulate, and tabulator all came to be used when a keyboard key came into existence, which helped with organizing words and numbers. The only issue, however, is that these are all quite long words, and they wouldn't fit on the tiny little key of a keyboard. So they were shortened to just tab and became the word for that key. In fact, I don't know if computers have the word tab on them anymore when it comes to their keyboards. I think it's just like a little arrow these days. I don't know. I feel like I remembered some keyboards with tab on them, but maybe I'm just imagining that. When the suggestion for keyboard button names won this week's poll, I was a little stumped. I had no idea how I'd turn that into a fun, engaging video. So here we are with perhaps quite possibly the only video on YouTube dedicated to the history of the tab key. And yeah, that's not really name explainy or languagey, but I mean, it kind of is. It's about communication, how we write and how we talk with one another. So yeah, that counts. But please let me know what you thought about this video. If you thought of a better idea for a keyboard based video, let me know down below. I've already done a video about why the keys are in that order, so yeah, background is covered. But of course, please share the topic down below, which we cover in next Monday's Name Explain video. It could be about literally anything, and the topic can be as niche or broad as you like. And of course, I will then choose three of those topics and place them in a poll for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from that poll will be the topic covered in next Monday's Name Explain video. You can vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain which will be linked down below and by donating just one dollar a month. Thank you. Anyway, that's more than enough for myself, but don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT. And don't forget to join the Facebook page, Friends of Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, all, take care. Let's see what happens with this one, shall we? Whatever the case, keyboards are one of our main tools for me. Fairly often, people, ye people using writers right at the very edge of the page like they usually do. D? Oh my god, I was told I got and I messed up on the word do. Oh, I just pressed the capture button. If I just took a photo, my bad. Let's stop that.